Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we will learn about built-in pipes. Just a recap of the previous episode, we started with a mini series on pipes. We started with the basic introduction of what are pipes in Angular and today we'll learn about the built-in pipes that are available in Angular. This is part 31 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I am planning around 100 tutorials for you including the live series, live project that I am starting very soon once we do the foundation and fundamental concepts. Make sure that you check out the description box. That's where I will up be updating the GitHub link which has the notes. Also going forward when we start the real time application, the application link will also be provided to you. Alright, so on your screen right now, uh, what you're seeing are the topics that I've already covered um, in detail along with notes with for absolute beginners. Uh, make sure that you check them out um, that I'm sure you will gain knowledge through that. Also, it will help you to have a sequence and continuity to your learning. Alright, so today's episode number 31, learning about built-in pipes. Alright, so what are built-in pipes? So what is a pipe, right? So just quick recap for our viewers who are joining us new on this episode. Pipes are nothing but which allows us to transform data, right, into a desired format. So basically when you pass some data as an input, you can transform it and expect a new expected output desired, desired output, right? So for example, Angular has um, these built-in uh, pipes. So what they do, uh, some of them are very, um, by their name itself, you can know lowercase, uppercase, percent, currency, date, and JSON. So uppercase will convert the string into uppercase, lowercase will convert the string into lower all lowercase. Percent will be able to convert it into a percent. Currency will give you by default some currency. Date will have some default format that you can use. Similarly, JSON, right? So these are all the built-in pipes that we can use. Now, so let's see that in action because that's where uh, you will actually learn how to use them, right? So let's get started with some hands-on examples for you. All right, so uh, so let's quickly make some notes um, so that way you will have things to refer when you are studying. So built-in pipes. So first built-in, what is a pipe? A pipe is is uh, is used to transform the input data into output desired format right there are built-in pipes right um, which are readily available available for us to use directly right so I will not write them now instead what we'll do we'll start writing practical right so and then we'll update that list as an go so this is angular built pipes okay so let's get started so what I'm going to do is I'll create a div and everything will be in templates right so whenever you say you're working with um, built-in pipes right built-in pipes we use them in templates right now we can use multiple pipes in the template on elements right so remember these points because these are very important now let's do so we already see that we have a username variable right uh, or I'll keep it simple for you I'll just lowercase example so I'm just using that string so that you when you're uh, studying or when you're practicing it would be easy for you to relate right so he, how do you write a pipe you write using pipe operator followed by the built-in pipe that's your syntax right so how do you write it you write it like this right so the syntax is you write the element and this can be any element it can be a paragraph it can be a span it can be a div right so any element any element wherever you are rendering the data and mostly it would be a div span or a paragraph so then you will give the string so this will be your string 
that you want to convert or I should call that as input data right so you will give a input data pipe operator followed by the type of pipe so here you will write name of pipe right name of pipe that you want to provide so in our case we are starting with lower case right so I have already started the application let's see it here so what we'll do so now you see um, let's define this string in the component and built-in pipe built-in pipe examples okay so here I'm giving a string right so let's give a string and say I'm giving all caps now YouTube right or I'll say arc tutorials right and what we'll do we'll make it all caps right so I have a variable it is all caps and in my template I've written that make everything lowercase now let's see it in our application it's not showing let's see why app component let's save it lowercase example pipe and followed by lowercase okay uh, are, what are we missing let's check okay so it's here I didn't I did not save it so all right so now we have it here it I'm saying lowercase so you see that it is now showing it as lowercase right let's put okay so you have built-in pipes and here you have arc tutorials which is in all lowercase because here I have everything in caps now do let's do an example of uppercase and here we'll say YouTube learning or let's put all small learning angular framework right now you see this is all in lowercase so let's take this and then then put it in the template and copy it into the div okay here and just copy it here put it uppercase and that's it right so now we have the div which is uppercase and lowercase so here now everything is lowercase because it is still lowercase so now I'm going to make it uppercase right now see everything is uppercase right so this is a classic example where uh, you might want to have some kind of uh, say username right there are examples so built-in pipes we just saw lowercase uppercase right so what are some good use cases that you can think of right so whenever you are saving uh, usernames or let's say some kind of email address right um, so these this is the where you want it to be lowercase right the reason being that you don't want to distinguish between uppercase and lowercase for upper names email address etc so this is a place where you can apply a pipe and have everything to be lowercase right though user may enter upper um, the um, uppercase or camel case whatever but you will show it like a lowercase right so that's one good example I can think of uppercase again let's say you are showing some kind of currency or you know some kind of um, country code or say airport code you want to show it in uppercase so that's where um, you can use um, uppercase right this is uh, some examples that I have seen in past uh, we'll keep learning we'll keep I'll keep sharing with you as and when I see something new but this is what I can think of right away let's learn about the other ones now so this was about uppercase and lowercase now let's take something called date example right so let's put date and here we'll put date okay so in the date example let's go here and put date example equal to date dot you can use date dot now for now so this will give you date which is today's date right so let's see that in action now so it is giving November 25 2020 right so today is November 25 25 and it is giving 2020 so this is how uh, date works right so it is giving you today's date 
all right so that being said this was about date now date can have multiple formats okay it can take um, date can take multiple um, options okay um, we will see that in the next uh, videos coming videos where you can do parameters uh, to pipes and we can also do chaining of pipes right uh, we'll see that in the coming episodes for now uh, hold on to that thought just do the basic date okay um, so that was about the basic date now uh, the next one is um, next is uh, you can say JSON all right so if you want to print a JSON object all right so you can say JSON example equal to right so you can say username and you'll say arc and you would say major is angular and mm, experience right you can say 10 etc so basically it's just an object right um, json object now you want to print it as it is so what you can do is copy this here again for easy purpose i'm just copying if you want you can type and practice that's the best way to learn alrighty so you have JSON example now you have JSON data so when you open your browser it's printing you JSON object right the entire JSON object it's printing you now where is this useful right so I can tell you um, I use this um, uh, specially for debug purpose right so let's say I'm debugging something and I want to quickly see what was the JSON object entire JSON object value that is returned I use this um, if you are just showing some kind of uh, code in your application, right? You can use this JSON object, um, etc. So this is one cool way of using JSON. The next one is currency, right? So currency is obviously you know that it can be used for displaying currency data whenever you're dealing with um, any kind of currency, data, money, um, a kind of application. If you're doing e-commerce, um, etc. All right, so let's me put JSON exa currency example. <clears throat> so let me give a value here. I'll say 125. Let's save it here. Let's save it. Now, by default, it will show you 125 dollars. Right. So you see here, it say it says dollar 125. Right. So that's because currency by default uses default uses dollar sign right dollar symbol okay I forgot to add it in the date uh, here it's by default if you see um, it shows month DD and YY right so if you see here um, sorry. okay so by default um, it was showing that and just like date currency can also take parameters like what kind of currency you want to show how to render etc right so these are some of the built-in um, um, I would say uh, pipes that are available for us to use there's one more uh, percent so let me show you that also real quick um, so let me add it here <coughs> And here you'll say percent save it and go to your component example equal to now let's say zero point some number right so now into so just whatever is the percentage you multiply by 100 it will show you percentage sign so I'm expecting 67.67 <coughs> so it is rounding off right um, because you have just given percentage it will round off uh, but you can customize that as well and it would um, so we can customize it as well and get that to a uh, data right all right um, where is the our um, oh, sorry <coughs> uh, okay let me see where is my okay one second sorry I lost it okay <coughs> okay so here you are so percentage by default <coughs> is rounding to nearby integer whole integer right 
and if you see it is just nothing but the logic is simple multiply by 100 and add percent that percent symbol that's what it does right if here you see it's 68 percent and it is showing that right cool um, so that's all I think uh, we are having um, uh, the examples of built-in pipe today I hope it's clear I hope after this episode you are now master in built-in pipes if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you in the next episode we will learn about parameterized pipes where you can send parameters to pipes right so join me in the next episode I look forward for that please do like this video share it comment it and subscribe to my channel also if you really like my work and my tutorials, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you again so much for joining. See you in the next episode.